You have a rocket for me today? Yep. Want to tell me a little bit about it? It's a Yankee rocket and it's blue and red and white. Okay. And the launching was good. It just got a little damaged on that side. Okay. I can when see When it that. came down, it must have hit the ground, but that's the only damage on it. Okay, so fairly minimal. Mm -hmm. And of course, we don't take off points for flight damage, so it's a good thing that you've mentioned that. I'm sure you've probably also written it up in your report. Mm -hmm. Okay, it says you're eight years old, so this is your first year building rockets? Yep. Okay. So what did you think of the experience? It was fun, but the hardest part was, part was wanting to get it because they went really, really far. Really? Mm-hmm. Usually I hear that the hardest part is, you know, some part of the construction process, but okay. So, here, let me get you a copy of the score sheet. Thank you. I'll let you follow along with me. Basically, we have five major areas that we judge on. We've got the flight capability section, the workmanship, the rocket appearance, the rocket support, and the flight and flight report section. I'll just start at the top and we'll work our way down and I'll try and maybe give you some suggestions as to how you could build a better rocket next year, all right? Okay. Okay. First section under flight capability, we're going to look at the nose cone assembly. We want to see a nice, slick, smooth, aerodynamic surface on the nose. And it looks like you've done a good job with this. The other thing we check is to see how the nose cone fits. We want to see the nose slide out of the body tube easily so your recovery system can come out. And once again, we have an excellent fit here. Good job. And we're going to look at your recovery system. We want to look at the shock cord, the streamer. And we're going to check and see that you've packed recovery wadding as you would for flight. Yep. And once again, everything looks really good here. Okay, we're going to look at the launch lug next. And it looks like you've done an excellent job. It's well attached, it's straight, so good job. Fin assembly. Basically, we're going to look to see that you've properly assembled the fins and that they're completely attached to the rocket. And once again, good job, full points on that section. Body tube. Basically, this is a fairly easy section to get so long as we have a good, straight, solid tube. Good work. And your engine block seems to be in good shape, so we'll give you the full 25 points on the flight capability section. Doing pretty good so far. Workmanship. Sanding. Did you do a lot of sanding on the fins? A little bit. A little bit? I did some on the edges to make them rounded a little bit. Right, round the leading edge of the fins. And you probably did some filling and sanding on the wood grain in the fin? Yeah. And it looks pretty good. Uh, ideally, we'd like to see these look smooth, almost like a sheet of glass, and you can see just a little bit of the wood grain, but not much. Mm -hmm. I'm going to deduct one point there, but just one out of five, so a very minor deduction. Gluing, we want to see a good solid glue joint in there. We want to see a nice smooth transition from one part of the rocket to another, and we want a good solid stable glue joint. And once again, things look really good here. Could be just ever so slightly smoother, but... I'm just curious what it says for disaster kits. Not quite perfect, but really close. So I'm going to take one point off for that section. Uh, straightness. Looks like you have the fins spaced in even 120 degrees apart. They're perpendicular to the body of the rocket. I'm going to give you four points on the straightness. The painting looks really good. We'll go four points there. Okay. We'll give you four points on the decals. So we've only lost two points, so 23 out of a possible 25 points there. Good job. Uh, rocket appearance. I'm going to get this put back together here for you quick. And overall appearance looks good. I'll give you full points on overall appearance.
Let's go ahead and go on there. Rocket support? Go ahead back to here. I'm going to deduct one point. Overall, the rocket support is really good. We have a nice looking base which helps with appearance. I would like to see you maybe put a couple of wraps of masking tape around this wooden dowel so that we don't have this little bit of wiggle. I'd like to see you have the rocket where it's firmly supported, which is one of the areas I often underline, is I like to see a good firm support. Yeah, we were trying to find the white dowel, but this was the closest one that they had when we were finding okay. it. And like I said, a couple wraps of masking mm -hmm. tape would probably cinch that up and that would be fine because you wouldn't see it anyway because it would be up inside of the... Just a minor thing, nothing, nothing very serious. I mean, for a first year, you're doing great. Uh, flight and flight report. I guess I haven't looked at that yet. It looks excellent. I mean, you've got all the major information. You have the date of launch, you have the wind conditions, visibility, temperature, engine used. Have some really nice pictures in here. So where did you launch it? Um, we launched it by a school, which I don't know where it was called, but it was it was a school and then there was a park. And okay. Then we launched it at. The so park. out in the park. Yeah. Excellent. Excellent. Uh, we've got three launches, so you get your. 24 points there, and the report looks good, so I'll give you all 11 there, so full 35 on that section. So we've got a score of 97 out of 100. It's going to be a purple ribbon. Is that all right with you? Mm -hmm. Do you have any questions for me? What I'm looking for, why I scored it the way I did? questions for me? All right, well, thanks a lot for bringing your rocket in. Yep. Hope you build another one next year and I, yep. I can come back and judge it then. Okay. Keep up the good work.